Hey, what's up everybody? It's Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, we're gonna continue the process of sculpting our character, but from the previous process, we're gonna add more and more detail so we can have more details for the remesh. So with that being said, we're just gonna hop right into it. Let's go. So here's our character, right? We've been working on this character for a few lessons. If you were, if you want to know how to get here, make sure you go back and visit the previous lessons where we covered how to get to this point of, of production, right? We're working on the Titan. He doesn't have a face. We're going for like a, 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 um, a Deadpool type of mask. So we're going to just continue that process of building out his face. I think the, I feel like the, the biceps and stuff are, pretty nice for what they are the muscles are good where, where they're at um, we did the we did the armor already um, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and add these elements here so we can um, so we can model them in as well and then we're gonna just add more details to the face mainly more details to the face is what we're really what we're really gonna cover today so the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and save this, make sure I'm saving it. Um, and then I'm gonna take his helmet off. Let's take his helmet off. All right, I'm gonna take his helmet off. And you see his nose doesn't have much details and we are going for a more stylized character. So again, I don't also don't wanna really get into, really get into making it like super hyper realistic i want them stylized because it is like more of a uh more of a a just say stylized character i'm trying to refrain from saying the company name but stylized character so as previous before you select your object you select your object that you want to re uh sculpt you hit tab and you can go to sculpt mode like that or you can go up here hit this hit this drop down here and you can hit sculpt mode. So we're gonna do tab though. So tab, sculpt mode, boom. And then all of your sculpt stuff is gonna pop up just like this. So you can see the pen right here, and then you have all of your different brushes that you use on this side, right? All of the different brushes that you can use. So we've sculpted in, we sculpted in most of these details, most of these details utilizing the, the what's this, the uh, elastic deform tool. the smooth tool and the draw in the draw sharp tool right I mean the draw uh, the draw tool now now that we're gonna get into more details we're gonna utilize those tools but then also a few other tools that we didn't have before or we didn't use before because we didn't have as much detail so the more detail you add the heavier your mesh is and now when I say heavy I mean the um, the more com computational power it takes. So, as I said before, because I'm streaming and recording at the same time, we will see how this affects, how this affects our, you know, if, if how it affects our production as far as how much we'll be able to get done while recording. So what I'm doing right now is just simply, um, just simply smoothing. This is a smooth brush. We're just simply smoothing things out. See if we can get a little smoother. And I really want to do this layer strips. Let's pull them layers in. Let's see what I'm already noticing. We don't have enough detail yet. Now, if you push, if you push control, you do the opposite. So if we're adding, now when you push control, you're subtracting or removing. So you can also do it the opposite way. It's like so. We just definitely don't have enough detail right now. At the end of the day. Like 
like so. Okay, there we go. And you could go extreme. I, I I actually urge you to go extreme because when you smooth it back out, it'll it'll work out. Again, we. It's not looking too great right now, but again, as we continue to push and pull, you just continue to work it. Now, don't get don't get frustrated at this with this part. It takes time. It's not going to happen right away. You just want to have to continue to push, pull, push and pull until you know it. It all just comes together. So don't get frustrated at this phase of the production. Give them that strong brow. But also one thing I want to do, I want to make these deep. I want to make this so deep. Because I'm going for like a Deadpool look. So I want to make this really, really pop. We might have to just pull those eyes, pull those eyes in out more or in more, out more. I mean, like so. Do these cheekbones again? Just keep in mind what you're sculpting. So these are the cheekbones here. I'll pull that nose in like that. Let's really get in there. We can we can add some little detail to the nose right there. Go ahead and push in control. That gave that little pop right there. So I did it the opposite way by hitting control. And it gave it that little that brick that bridge. It made a little. Like that, like so. You can just continue to push and pull until you get to the until you get to a decent place. Now, I'm tempted to pull up my reference here. I am gonna pull up my reference here. Some, some reference. Let's get some reference going. Now, my reference essentially consists of Deadpool. So we're going to pull up the Deadpool mask images. Let's find a good image to use here. Um, I'm looking at looking for let me just I'm not gonna put it on screen because I don't own the rights to it so I'm just leave it up here so we're just gonna continue on all right I see I see okay so he doesn't have this of course I'm just come straight out we have a hard edge here. We are harder down the middle. We're going to do some hard edge on this one. 
kind of go with his face like that. Again, as you see, he looks crazy right now. Don't worry about that though. I know it looks crazy. Just don't don't get worried too soon. Just worry about like the general shape. You want to just go for the general shape. You'll we figure out the rest in a second. But you just want to make sure you get in those general shapes because again, that's where the smooth the smooth tool comes into play when we smooth all of this again. Almost starting to look like a, uh, like, like a, uh, what's his face, Sub Zero or something. Is this? No, cool. Cool. His eyes look crazy right now. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Alright, I think that's good. What we'll do now is just smooth. So we're gonna go in and smooth a little bit. That's what I'm saying. Like you just, you're gonna you're gonna end up doing this over and over again, but smoothing, then you're gonna go back in do the same thing make it all extremes and then smooth it and go back in do it extremes and smooth it until it finally gets to where you want it to be well actually we're gonna remesh this first um i'm curious if i apply a mask lasso tool do a mask around the whole head Will it just remesh that part? So let's do a 0.5 inch remesh. Will it just do it on the face? Point 0.5. Mask invert. So after you move all your points and it looks rough, remesh and then go back in and smooth. Then go back in and smooth it. So it doesn't return back to where it was and you have more you have more points to work with. So 
let's just go back in smooth it then do it again and smooth it then do it again and smooth it I mean remesh and do it again and remesh then do it again and remesh So, boom. And you see it slowly getting it, slowly grabbing that shape, grabbing that shape. Definitely getting better. I'm liking this. I'm liking where we're going here. And I'm pushing control on the smooth instead of instead of uh, instead of reg doing it regular. I'm pushing control to so it doesn't smooth it out. Now I want to add more layers, so we're just going to add, do that. Now I'm going to make this radius of this smaller. Let's say 20. Try to draw this a little better. Yeah, now we're getting it. Now we're getting, see, we made that radius smaller. Now we're getting more detailed. Again, when you're working with a tablet, when the harder you press, the more indented it'll be the more it'll go in so you just want to kind of work it just like that like that that and we're gonna then pull that up like this it's that little that little area and you see I'm kind of just trying to figure out the stitch if you want to call it stitching but figure out the stitching how the stitching is gonna go of the mask So, and we could do if you want to just get in the details like right here create some creases you could do that too these are again we're going into the details Super. Like so. Let's see what that looks like. I'm liking where we're getting, where we're going.
all right and then we're gonna do another remesh so again you move it you do everything you remesh it again boom once you remesh it smooths out it kind of recalculates you go back in here get your smooth brush tool smooth it out you know smooth out the areas you want smoother like that just like that Now his eyes look very bulgy right now. And that's mainly because, that's mainly because, hold on. That's mainly because we don't have a I'm not liking what we see from the side. Now, what you want to do if you if you have if you haven't deformation because we we're just modeling more from the front, but the side looks crazy to me. You can just pull in with the deform tool. Let me pull that forehead out. Right? It's just those eyes that are just throwing the whole thing off, honestly. I'm just make them a little smaller. L S scale it down. G Y pull it forward. G X pull it in. And maybe that's all it is. It's because it's just too big. They're too big. G X. Something like right there. Boom. Now let's model around that. So I was I would consider that like a regular. Somewhere around here it would be regular. Alright, let's go back into sculpting this. Oops, wrong thing. So, all right, we're getting close. I'm gonna do those. I'm gonna do that little detail in a second. I just kind of want to focus mainly on Do, 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 do.
I'm really just getting to, trying to get some eyelids on this thing and how you have to do that again you have to push it all the way then remesh it then once you remesh it it'll give you more geometry then you can go back in and you know fix it now we're going to go back in smooth it and see how we can fix it to be better like so Yep, see, you pull it to the extreme and then once you smooth it, it'll just kind of fall right into place. Now I can just pull it like this. And we should have a lot better. Let me make this radius a small smaller. And this will better better define the eyes. So now our eyes look a lot better. See, we're getting there. It just takes time. So you just can't get frustrated with how much time it takes because it does take time. Now you can get in here and just do it. Do it your style. Like at your at your style to it. My style is usually I like my eyelids to kind of come up here, then drop down on this side. Kind of sharp, so I'm gonna pull it just like that. Pull these corners in like this. Pull this up like that. The bottoms are usually kind of just round, round, pretty round. So, but it goes kind of straight, and then it just comes up on the, in the side. So, we'll just do it just like that. Boom! I'm liking that. I'm liking that. All right. I'm going to have to pull this back now to fit around the eye. Like so, like so. Now one of the things I'm noticing is that my indention here has went away. So I'm gonna control, oops. I want to control in completely pretty hard. Let's do it really hard. Pull this one out again. Mesh it. Let's 
smooth it. So, just like that, they're nice smooth. You know, something happened here. Because we had that nice flat top, flat forehead. We want to keep that. Add these. Add these back. Smooth. The eyes a little bit. It's really just, the eyes are the hardest part, to be honest with you. Boom, 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 boom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, just like that. Kind of interested the hook tool.
I think the hook tool works better than the grab tool. Yeah, I like the hook tool better than the grab tool. That's actually pretty hard. It's actually pretty hard to stuff that around his eyes, even though that's not what we're gonna have, but I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of that's pretty hard. Gonna do a remesh. So let's make the radius bigger. Let's do a smooth, oh, not that, like that. Again, pulling it out extreme to bring it back when you smooth it. That's all you're doing. Back to that smooth tool. Let's smooth that out like so. Like so, like so. Alright, I'm liking where we're going getting here. Let's go ahead and uh do that layer uh inflate a little bit. Inflate this cheek. All of this stuff over here, inflate it a little bit. Deflate this. Go in the eyeball, deflate that. Inflate these. Just want to get it to where you kind of like it. It's looking good. I'm liking where we're getting. Uh, let's decrease the radius a little bit. Inflate it right here. I mean, I'm pushing deflate. Inflate it right here. Just around the top. Inflate it a little bit at the bottom. Like so, deflate around it, so 
gets an opposite effect, like so. But he has a mask on, so you don't want too much. You just want enough to give detail. We're gonna add layers. Actually, let's see if we can do this crease tool. Not that way. Increase there. Increase on the lit eyes. Increase at the top. Boom, all right, let's remesh that. All right, crease it. And again, you don't want to, I know it's tempting. It's definitely tempting to me right now. You don't want to try to go to too high resolution before, you, before you're ready. You want to get the general shape in and then go take your resolution a little higher. So that's essentially what we're doing. Just getting a general shape in here. And we're going to take the little resolution a little higher. Once we get our shape going better. I'm going to inflate that forehead though. Deflate this side. Right, getting closer. I have smooth um, remesh first. Remesh, then smooth this. Turn that bright radius up a little bit. Boom, I'm liking that. I'm liking that. So, 
just like that. And this, this part might simply just be that we just don't have enough resolution here, but we're getting there. It's definitely slowly but surely getting around that eye. It's like that. Like that. I'm liking these eyes. They're getting there. They're definitely out pretty much there. Yeah, they're pretty much there. I just feel like these cheekbones need to be pulled out a little bit. It's like the whole, in a way, the whole face. But it is a mask. So the thing is, I don't want to pull it out too much because it's a mask. What I want to do is flatten the side. No heck, we can do that. Let's flatten the side. Let's make the side a little flatter. Maybe that will give us more of the mask look. That's perfect. Now we're cooking. I'm getting that nice that nice shape right here. Now we're cooking. Like so. And again, the more you sculpt, the more you'll realize which tools work best for what you're trying to do. So that's pretty much what you want to do just continue to just practice 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 and practice and practice and practice some more Right. Let's see if we can bloat this up a little bit in the middle.
you go. Now we cooking. See, it's slowly starting to shape up. Just yeah, you have to be patient. Just have to be patient with it. So one of the things when I first started sculpting, it's like, man, I'm not, I can't do it. And I started to realize like I'm just not being patient enough. I haven't let it form yet. It's like, especially coming from you, if you're used to just drawing and once you draw it, it's like immediate gratification. This is kind of like, it just takes a little longer and that's okay. But no. Nah. You just have to realize that it's going to take, it's going to not be like drawing. It's going to be a little longer. It's going to take a little more time. All right, we're going to do that flatten again. We're going to do the flatten of the mouth this time. We're going to flatten it here. Right. I want to say it's like a feel to do that right there. So we're gonna do, or maybe clay. That clay will just fill it in a little bit. It's like applying some clay and layers slowly but surely just sculpt it right in there So Yeah, clay just feels more like it fills in the gaps. So boom. Right? I'm just kind of just grabbing. I'm going to save this. Seems a little chuggy.
I'm looking for maybe the pinch tool. Yeah, the pinch tool. That's what I'm looking for. We're just gonna pinch some of this stuff off. See what that looks like. like that they grab that pinch tool that pinch tools I kind of like that pinch tool look the uh, for my characters my personal preference I don't know it just gives it this like artistic style that I like this smoothing this out a little bit like so getting all of these other layers when we did the we did the clay brush getting those layers smoothed out a little bit and I don't have to you can do the pinch and then kind of smooth over it and it'll you know just light just Soften it up a little bit. You don't want it super, super sharp, but you want to just sharpen enough. I'm liking that. I'm going to do that pinch tool one more time. Where is it at? Boom. Yeah. Just like that. You can actually add it for the chin too. Add it right here. It's kind of come over to crease of the neck. Kind of like this style. Because it'll kind of go with the armor. And it is a mask. So we might go hard. like so I'm liking that I'm liking that and grab this grab brush I want to pull this back over There we go. Like so. I'm liking that. I'm liking that.
That feels good. I'm going to widen this nose a little bit, though. But outside of that, that feels good. Let's look at it from the side. I have to blow it out a little bit. His cheek. Like that, y'all. I mean, we cooking now. It's looking pretty good. So, I think we're almost there, y'all. Feeling like we're pretty much there. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling that. Let's go ahead and pinch that back.
Boom. All right. Like that. Let's go. Now I would actually looking at this, I'm liking um I'm liking this little part here. It almost feels like a uh I don't know. Feels like something. Feels like something's there. So I'm gonna leave it. Feels like something's that we can make something of that later on. I think that's good. Let's put the helmet back on, see what it looks like. All right, so with the helmet, if we're gonna do it like this, we're gonna have to play on the helmet a little bit more. We got the nose. We're gonna have to do some, uh, we're just gonna have to do some pulling of some of these areas to make it kind of go with the shape of the helmet a little better. Also like his face because it kind of almost is a T. Let's go ahead and pinch it back. Ooh, what happened? Oh, that's from all the pulling. Let's do this one. I like that. I like where we at. Let's just leave it how we had it had it before. We'll blow those eyes up. Now if we add more detail, of course we could get more more for the eyes.
I think we'll just live with that. Freak it. Let's just live with that. So this start tight. Boom. I'm like, should we make an ear? I'm attempted not to make an ear. Oh my gosh. Bam, better. A lot better. A lot better. Boom, okay. All right. Now we got the face kind of mapped out better. I'm gonna pull that nose out just a little bit more.
I'm liking that. That's even better. Now we cooking. Now that layer tool adds adds a lot more than we were doing before. So I'm liking that. We're gonna do a remash one more time. Pull these points in a little more. Like so. Boom. Ooh, that's hard. Yeah. I just went ahead and resorted to just grabbing points and pull them exactly how I want them. Once you pull them how you want them, go ahead and remesh again. I think I'm, I'm liking this. It's like a neutral, a neutral pose. So let's go ahead and smooth a little bit At this point, I'm just trying to really avoid going another layer deep as far as remeshing. Try my best to. But we just might have to.
That didn't go as planned. This is going At the end of the day, I just don't have enough geometry. I'm just not going to keep doing this over and over again. We are going to go ahead and smooth this stuff up. Smooth where we can. Let's, uh, let's pinch this. Pinch that. and smooth it. We'll pinch all of my parts. Actually, pinch them all. Mesh, pinch them again. Perfect. Mesh it again. Pinch. I think that's good. I think that's good. Smooth. All right, that's good. Clear the mask. I think we're good to go there.
And we're just gonna revisit the fingers when we remesh this. Da -da -da -da. We'll just keep it like this for now. All right, so let me save this. Now we have some good definition on his face. Some more definition on his face. Smooth, like so. I think that's good. So let's go ahead and um, zero, zero, zero. Boom, all right, perfect. All right, so boom, there it is. You got to see us actually sculpt some of the face details for this character, get some of them hard edges in so we could get ready to uh, more than likely to apply some, apply some materials, but more than anything, uh, remesh this character for, um, yeah, for rigging. So with that being said, hopefully this inspired you to do that one thing that takes you closer to your goals. Thank you for joining the Creator Academy. If you're not part of the Creator Academy, make sure you go to digitalrim.com and join the Creator Academy today where you get access to videos and courses just like this. So with that being said, hey, do that one thing that takes you closer to your goal. All y'all have a blessed day. Lady y'all, peace.